Hi, welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the fundamental problem 2-23 from RC Hippeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force at A. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the coordinates of points A, B and C. The coordinates of point A are 0, 0, 6 meters. The coordinates of point B are, it is, this is point B. It is 3 in the x-axis, 2 in the negative y-axis and 0 in the z-axis. The point C, this is the point C. It is 2 in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis and 0 in the z-axis. Now, if I write the equation for the resultant force at point A, then the equation would be fr in vector form is equals to vector sum of force B and the force C. So for force B, the force B can be written as its magnitude times its direction and direction can be represented by the unit vector along the line of action of the force B. That would be the unit vector AB. And the unit vector UAB in terms can be written as position vector RAB divided by its magnitude and the position vector can be found by subtracting the coordinates of point A from the coordinates of point B. So that would be x coordinate of point B minus the x coordinate of point A i plus the y coordinate of point B minus the y coordinate of point A Similarly, for the point, for the z-coordinate. Divided by its magnitude, that would be 3 square plus minus 2 square plus minus 6 square. And after simplification, it would become 3 over 7i minus 2 over 7j minus 6 over 7k. Now substitute the value of unit vector AB into this equation. So it becomes the magnitude is 840 newtons times the unit vector that is 3 over 7i minus 2 over 7j minus 6 over 7k and it would become 360i minus 240j minus 720k. So this is the value of force B in the vector form. Now we have to do the same working for the force C. For force FC. The force FC can be written as its magnitude times the unit vector along the line of action of force C that would be unit vector UAC and UAC can be written as position vector RAC divided by its magnitude and the position vector RAC can be found by subtracting the coordinates of point A from the coordinates of point C, so that will be 2 minus 0i plus 3 minus 0j plus 0 minus 6k divided by the magnitude, it is 2. 2 square plus 3 square plus negative 6 square. 
So the answer would be 2 over 7i plus 3 over 7j minus 6 over 7k. Now put this unit vector, the value of the unit vector into this equation and this equation becomes the magnitude of the force C is 420 newtons into the unit vector UAC. So when you multiply it, the values become 120i plus 180j minus 360k. So this is the value of force C in the vector form. Now we have to put the values of force B and the force C into this equation. So FR becomes 360i minus 240j minus 720k plus 120i plus 180j minus 360k. So FR becomes, now here you have to add the i components with the i components, j components with the j components and the k components with the k components. So that would be 480i minus 60j minus 1080k. So this is the value of resultant force at point A in the vector form. But we have to find its magnitude. So for the magnitude of the resultant force, We have to use the Pythagoras theorem for i, j and k components. So that would be 480 square plus minus 60 square plus minus 1080 square. So the magnitude of the resultant force at point A becomes 1183.4 newtons or 1. 1834 kilonewtons. So this is our final answer. This is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this video or any of my previous videos, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.